But what means the most in life? Let's sing about it every day What's up and welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1971 Chevelle. This is another two in one video. We'll go ahead and knock out the walk around and the test drive. First, we're gonna be taking her down the road. This has a believed to be 350 under the hood. Power steering, pretty quiet motor. Looks like a Holly carb sitting up under there. Should be a pretty sweet ride. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos like this all the time. And we update every Monday with new inventory at maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available for you. So go over there, check that out. You know what I'm gonna say, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. I'm gonna check out the interior before we leave here. Uh, go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Got my wife with me. What's up, Bree? Hello. And uh, we'll be checking some stuff out. So halfway through this video, I'm going to make a little pit stop and show you all the details of the interior. Kind of like the headliner hanging in the corner and this side as well. And we're also going to check out the flaws on the exterior. Go ahead and get her started up. She is warmed up now. So I ought to give her some gas. Looks like the gas gauge is up and working about half a tank in this one. Showing 56,000 miles. I cannot stand behind the mileage on these cars. They are pretty old, you know, over 50 years old. So blower motor is not working. Can't get it to do nothing. Sometimes you can get that magic touch on there. The radio is not working. The wipers are not working. Horn? Nope, no horn. We'll check everything out during the walk around video, see if we can get some of that stuff working. Other than that, we're gonna hit the road and uh, let's take off here. Welcome back guys. So we're gonna take off down the road here. This one, get your seat belt on. Yep. Might need it. <laughs> the readout, uh, park, reverse, neutral drive. The little indicator is not moving in there. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. It's reading incorrectly. It says we're going 50, we're only going about 35. I let go of the steering wheel. It pulls to the left. You see that? The steering's nice and tight. I mean, as soon as I turn, it turns. But it is pulling to the left. up on this one. With that being said, you can shift down manually. It's working pretty good. Brakes? Better than my Chevelle. <laughs> Stopping pretty good. Doesn't feel bad at all. So far so good on this ride. Gas gauge is floating around. Shows me that it's working. Turn signal bulbs. The right bulb is out on the dash, but I can hear it clicking. Easily burns the tires. Ooh, it's a Cadillac Camino. They only made like 400 of those and they got it for sale right here down the road. I wonder what they want for that. It's actually not a real production car, but the company did come out with those cars. If you look it up, it's pretty cool. I've seen one before, and now there's one for sale right there. <laughs> well, 350 feels pretty good in this car. And what's cool about today, I've got her with me. I don't have to set the camera down on the ground. Uh-oh. We had her idle down, I put her in neutral, but it's got a safety switch. So cut back on here. 
carburetor is a little bit out of adjustment. It's running great. But if you suddenly let off on the throttle, I notice the R's dip down. Sometimes it cuts off. I was trying to get it to do it again. Of course, it ain't going to do it when I'm trying to get it to do it. All right. We're going to get some outside shots now. I'm also going to get some undercarriage shots. And with her with me, hopefully they turn out better than I normally do. AT&T attacked my parking lot over there. We're going to do it right here. I'm also going to do a walk around. All the flaws are going to be pointed out right here, not in two separate videos. Let's do this. All right. So we're going to point out all the flaws on this car. That way you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Let's get started. I like going down the lower portion first. And you can tell on this one, it's got a nice new chrome front bumper. The grill on it is in pretty good shape. Headlight bezels are a little bit older. They've got some pitting popping up on them. Coming down this side of the car, down the lower panel trim looks good around the wheels. You got a couple chips and touch up marks here in the corner. You got a little bit of bubbling in the corner of the door there. Coming up over the fender. And it looks pretty good in the back here. There's a little, looks like an indention right here in the back. Also got some bubbles popping up. Coming down the mid section, nice and slick. Doesn't look bad at all. Door handles have been replaced. Trim on your windows have been replaced. Windows are very clean. Emblems fairly new chips right here on the fender there's three of them coming around the front top section got some wax left over there around that headlight bezel is some more pitting down the top portion windshield itself looks pretty good trim around it's nice and clean checking the top what we do here run our fingers kind of you know get down low if you ever go look at a car with a vinyl top on it make sure it's not full of rust under that top this one seems pretty solid so far if i see it or feel it i'll let you know most of the time it's usually back here where the water comes down through the back window gets trapped just kind of look around it i mean you're not normally going to have it pop up in the middle it's always going to be on the edges where it seals Coming down the back. Back bumper on this one is not brand new. You can see it does have some pitting popping up on it. Checking through the jams. You got some touch up marks. New weather stripping. Yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Trunk on it's not too bad. I don't really see any rust. It's got a fairly new spatter which is okay anything preventative is good to put down you know cover up that bare metal checking in the back here you can see where they had that taped up when they sprayed the spatter and no it was not us but looking back here that looks pretty good it almost looks like they put a new uh, package tray in it it's a nice car Let's go ahead and shut this trunk. Coming down with the trunk, see how easy it is. Edge of the trunk looks pretty good. It does have a little spot right there. A couple little bubbles popping up. And it's locked. The lines look good. Checking over that back portion again. They did good with the vinyl top. A little bit of overspray right there when they painted the car. See the green or blue? I don't know, what would you call this? Agua? Teal? <laughs> Coming down the lower portion here. Trim looks good. Corner of the door's got a couple little spots, nothing major. Trim looks good on the front here. Back down the mid section, you got some chips. And that line there, moisture in your 
turn signals. That's up, cool, cool little fact. 72, solid P, 71, split. This car looks great. Checking the top on this side. No bumps. No. Well, there's something up under there, but I don't think that's. I don't think that's rust. I think something else is under there. There's a little line there. I'm not 100% sure what could be the fabric underneath. A little bump there. Very small. It could be the same issue. Not bulging out or anything crazy. Down these pillars is usually a great spot for it to end up to, and it's fine. It's all good, but this mirror here, chrome's falling off of it. Until they replace the hood. Look how shiny and new that is. All right, so we're gonna check out the interior now. Go ahead and get her started up and get you some uh, those lit undercarriage shots. And we're gonna head on back to the lot. Check this out. As I open up the door, you know how they flake off. Look at a little chrome. It's kind of flaking off on those accents. The door itself looks pretty good, nice and solid. Weather stripping's good. Looking at the bottom. Always check the bottoms of your doors. Water goes down to the lowest point, so. Jams, nice and clean carpet. Man, that has been replaced, that is nice. And I do like the blue. Bench seat, she likes the bench seat, don't you? Yeah, so, you know, buckets aren't always the answer. <laughs> back dash has been replaced, but it's got a little bit of a wrinkle in it back here. And then your uh, headliner back here needs some stretching. Other than that, it looks pretty good. We got the cover on the light. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Coming across your dash. Wonder if that's one of those. No, it's not. That's a full pad there. You see it's kind of up in the corner. There's a little crack here by the speaker. And a little loose. See, I'm kind of shaking everything. It needs to be tightened up. It may have been pulled out at one point. And uh, they may have been working on this. Because that wasn't working, remember? I know I'm going to have to give it gas, but we'll try it without. Say it tried to. Let me give it some gas. Not too bad. Mess around with this a second. Don't have AC, but you could get some heat blowing. Of course, the radio's not gonna work. We'll try the wipers again. Mess with the switch a little bit. Let's look up under here and see if it's hooked up. The door, it shuts good, nice and easy. Wipers are gonna need work. Cause I left them on and they're not doing anything. I tried to mess with them. Wipers need work. Motor? Pretty quiet. See all the AC stuff is disconnected. Okay, let's go ahead and shut down this hood. Coming down, a couple fingers. I mean, it's very easy. Check the edges.
Got a touch up mark there. Coming on down. Lock. Ready to help me get these shots? Okay, we did the walk around video. We're getting ready to head back to the lot. Let's take off. All righty. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks for the help. We're heading back to the lot now. Everything's good so far. And let me know about what you think. Do you like the two-in-one videos? I like making two videos, um, but this is definitely faster. It cuts about 15 minutes out doing it this way so if i keep doing it this way and y'all stay happy i'm in if not i'll go back to my old race let's roll that pull is getting better still pulling a little bit it's definitely getting better it could be partial to air pressure in the front left tire is a little bit hesitant it did look like an older holly suspension on this one is nice and smooth should be
propeller on the guy's hitch right there. Y'all see that? <laughs> Wonder if it spins when he drives. That'd be cool. I feel like that hitch instead of a trailer ball, that would cut you. <laughs> All right, made it back to the car lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. It's lunchtime for me and my lady. See y'all later.